Hey everyone! Rhubarb and strawberries are in season right now, so today I'll be showing you how to make my strawberry rhubarb donuts. We'll start with the filling, a strawberry rhubarb jam. Chop up 3 cups of rhubarb, 3 cups of strawberries, and add it to a pot. To that, add 1.5 cups of sugar, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now cook this until it's thickened to a jam consistency or when a thermometer reaches 220 Fahrenheit. Let cool to room temperature. For the donut recipe, start by adding nine grams of active dry yeast to 160 grams of milk and let sit for five minutes until the yeast has activated. Add 350 grams of bread flour to a bowl. I'm using my mixer, but you can make this by hand too. 53 grams of sugar, 7 grams of salt, the yeast and milk mixture, and 1 egg. Mix for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, add 42 grams of softened butter and continue to mix for another 5 minutes. Now you should have a soft elastic dough. When you can stretch it without breaking easily, it's perfect. This is called the window pane test. Form a ball and add to a grease bowl and cover for 1 hour or until doubled in size. Okay, it's one hour later. Now it's time to roll. I find this dough doesn't stick easily, so I don't even flour my counter. But you can if you have to. Roll until it's about half an inch thick. I'm using a three and a quarter inch cutter here. So there's two options for leftover dough. You can roll your scrap pieces and you should get 8 full donuts this size, or fry them as is, like I did. I place them on parchment paper squares so I can easily pick them up when it's time to fry. Cover with saran wrap or a clean towel and let them rise for 30 minutes or until doubled in size. It's fry time! Heat your oil to 350 Fahrenheit. Pick up the parchment and place them in. After a few seconds, you can easily remove the paper. When they start to brown, flip to fry the other side. When they're cool enough to handle, dip them in granulated sugar. An easy way to fill them is to first use a chopstick to create a cavity by pushing the middle to the sides by moving it back and forth. Put your jam in a piping bag. You don't need a tip. Just stick it in a little and fill until it starts to come out. This donut recipe is my favorite. It's so fluffy. A perfect treat for every occasion. I hope you give these a try. Thanks for watching! Like and subscribe, please.